Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. My name is Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Uh, we are a husband and wife team. If you're new to the channel, we're a husband and wife team. We sell predominantly on eBay, and we've also started dabbling in Macari and Poshmark, and we make videos about what we do every day here in our shed. Uh, listing items, selling items, shipping items, buying items. Buying items. <laughs> so today um, we have some items going out. We have how many on eBay? Not very many. There's We don't have a lot of quantity, but we have some quality there. Yeah, we have six items on eBay and one on Mercari going out. So we're going to go ahead and get those items pulled and packed. And then um, Sunday we went to some estate sales and we want to show you guys what we found. All right, so like, uh, like we were saying, we didn't sell a bunch, but we sold some quality stuff. We have some, which I'm pretty glad. We had a very busy sh uh, shipping day yesterday. So. We did. Lonnie literally packed till what, maybe four o'clock in there. Yeah. Well, it was... it, even so, um, like, yeah, he had to go out and get boxes, trip to UPS. It was a crazy shipping day. So kind of need the break today. And then you can help me with listing today. Yeah. Well, I'm going to list some of the stuff. Well, we're going to show, we're going to show you all the stuff we got this past weekend at estate sales. Then I'm going to get into listing that because Candace is Nutcracker girl. Yeah. How do you yeah. like being the Nutcracker, Nutcracker queen? <laughs> that kind of sounds like I'm like mean. Yeah, it does actually. Remember we used to work, we, we worked in a casino together. That's actually where we first met. And um, there was this woman who was one of our supervisors. Do you remember this? No. Everybody called her BB. Oh. Stood for our, can I say this on YouTube? I wouldn't. Okay. It's okay. It stood for something buster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that Candace is a real nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready to get going? Yeah, let's go. Okay, first item is on 4F. It's a hat for the uh, US Open. It's green. Okay. 4F? 4F. Okay. Oh, that's right. Forgot we have a hat box on that hat box on that shelf 20 2018 us open yep okay that's all for eight dollars all righty next item is on three delta it's a book thomas thompson american legend first of machine gun what, what where, where is it three delta oh you're i forgot i moved some of those books back here so I finally put these on sale. I think I was trying to get 200 for a pretty good while. Yeah. But uh, we bought, I think, five books that were similar to this. Yep. And they were all this collector grade publications. And happened to spot these at a garage sale a few months back. And you didn't know anything about them. You just looked them up on a whim, right? Well, I, I just knew they were interesting looking. First, I, I saw the collector grade on, on the cover. Mm -hmm. And then I saw it was about guns. And I was like, okay, that could be money. And then when I looked it up real quick, I was like, okay, how much for the books? Dollar a piece? Okay. Yeah, yeah <laughs> we're not big book buyers, but if something catches our eye, yep. you know... Um, we've been buying a little more lately, but it's just really not our thing. But we do if something catches we, our eye. We actually do. I think we do a fair enough amount of books to not, to say we don't really do books. I mean, we do books we probably. Do, we dabble in it. We're not like, a lot of people are predominantly books or it's a big portion of their sales. Yeah. That's not us. I, I think if you source, I think if you source uh, garage sales a lot and estate sales, I really feel like you need to dabble in books. Uh, just because there's so many books out there and mm -hmm. they're so cheap and there are gems. Well, we got a lot of books from Kevin and Danielle and I, I was surprised at some of the books that were worth money that I wouldn't have even looked twice at. So, I mean, there's a lot out there that to learn about it. We're, we're going to show you all some more books in a little bit when we show you the haul from this past weekend. Yeah. Speaking of books, uh, three Delta Cat in the Stacks books. Told you. See, I, I think we're, we're booksellers. <laughs> We're, we're legit booksellers, Candace. This is the kind of move we make, we do a lot though, is like- Bundle. Bun, because you don't have to be real smart to see like, oh, well, these are all the same series. Right. If you're at a sale and you see a lot of the same author or even especially the same series, um, they're they're usually a good buy. I mean, we still do normally look them up if we're not familiar. Yeah. 
definitely weren't familiar with these and um sold these for 36 dollars yeah we paid um there's 12 there's 12 okay so they were on sale we sold them for 36 dollars and it didn't sound like a lot of money i guess but um we only paid 25 cents a piece right and the same time we bought these books we also bought some casca books mm -hmm. same sale those are really good that we got 150 for for mm -hmm. a lot of those i think we had 20 something of those so yeah yeah three into 36 for those all right candace went ahead and did an excavation job to get into that drawer that uh cabinet there yeah our crown royal bags are down there and we're we're like inundated with nutcracker boxes <laughs> and nutcrackers everywhere so went ahead and pulled those um sold one set of those for ten dollars and 49 cents yep those are on sale too all right here's another good book on six bravo black rifle two yeah that's from that same buy and you know it's it's so odd i mean i did put these on sale recently Still, i think 25 percent, I mean, but they they've been on on sale for like a week now and yeah two different buyers yeah we bought sold one. that one i think kind of late last night and then this one sold this morning and yeah. I'm, I'm like i went had to go look to see if it was the same buyer came back and bought another one nope just because they were both bought on the same day you know so now i think i want to say okay we sold so this is three we paid five dollars for five bucks mm -hmm. This is 300 The other two, I believe, we sold for uh, 200 apiece. Mm -hmm. So we've now sold $700 worth of those books, and we have one more one left. One more left, yep. That one sold for $150. Okay. And then the last eBay items, um, two sets of Fleming Steak Knives on 7 Charlie. Okay. Here they are, all wrapped up. Man, it's crazy how heavy these are. Yeah, they're heavy duty knives. They they, are. I like them. We kept a few for ourselves. Those are, look, that's nuts, man. That weighs three pounds. Yeah. Those came from a uh, private pick we did with Beverly, and um, we sold those two sets for 72 plus ship. Yeah, we paid her. We did, We paid her decent money for those. I think we had, it had 15 knives, and I think we paid 20. Does that sound right? I think so. And um, so I kept three of them and I did three lots of four. So one lot sold already and then someone just came in and bought the last two lots. Okay. And the first lot sold for like 40 bucks or something? Yeah. Something like so that. So 40, 70. So yeah. yeah, we turned 20 into like 115 or so. Something like that. Yeah. So yeah, that's all we have. Go oh no, we have a Mercari order. Yes. I forgot. Let me get it pulled up. And in the chest drawer, we sold a Lola's Pet Shop cat for 15 shipping included. That's Free it right there? Yep. Okay. Little Persian cat. Man, we had, um, we've been doing really well on Macari. I, I, I mean, I'm not like yeah. trying to flex this sale or anything. No, but no, no. But like the toys and action figures and stuff have been doing really well on Macari. They um, have. I was surprised. I had in my mind that Macari was just like, um collectibles and vintage stuff i guess because that's what i went there looking for i didn't know that there was a big toy market on there there's a bunch of girls buying toys on there man yeah. i mean i'm sure there's a lot of guys buying toys too but it seems to be like a bunch of girls yeah we've sold <laughs> a lot of monster high on there we've sold to a lot of females yeah and um they're so friggin nice over there too like we had one draculaura monster high we sold last week well it got there and it was weird like i don't ever say anything to anybody because like we, we've had this happen a few times where the package gets delivered and then they don't do anything rate us or anything and then let's, three let's, let's back up and explain why that's yeah. important so if you're not on macari whenever um whenever someone receives their item if they have three days to rate you and they have to rate you for your money to get released the seller's money to get released if they don't rate you within three days Mercari's system just goes in and gives you a five-star rating and releases the money. Unless the buyer reports a problem or something. Exactly. Which okay. we haven't had that happen yet. Right. But anyway, the, uh, a Draculaura, thank you for explaining that because sometimes welcome. I skip over. Yeah. We sold a Draculaura Monster High doll for 30 bucks. It got delivered and they didn't rate 
for three days and then Macari went ahead and raided us like Candace said and then released the money we got the money and then do you know that like did you see like a couple hours later that buyer that didn't rate us she messaged us and said I'm so sorry I meant to rate you uh, I didn't I didn't do it on time it got delivered to my postal annex and I didn't pick it up for a few days so I didn't think about it blah 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 uh, I love the doll you packed it well she's so beautiful this and that yeah so even though she didn't rate us she still made sure we knew she was happy with her right she took the time yeah. to message us which she didn't have to do mm -hmm. and you know yeah I, I, I we see like grace are, are just people being like 10 times nicer on Macari than eBay. Yeah. Haven't you noticed that? I have, yep. It's like they're not, it's like they're younger and they're not jaded. Uh, and like if they send you an offer and you don't accept, they don't get all insulted. No. You know, so yeah, it's, it's been nice. It's different. Yeah. How is it so different? I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe it's because there's no boomers on there. Maybe so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to get this stuff packed and then uh, we'll show y'all the estate sale stuff yeah right, so we got all the packages out um lonnie brought something to ups i have one if y'all watched the video yesterday i had uh two monster boxes 37 and 34 pounds with uh 600 worth of uh game in it board games yeah, yeah. i didn't get it out yesterday so I, I brought it i did pack it and print the labels and i Got them over to UPS store this morning. Yep. So, so now um, we went to some estate sales on Sunday. We went to five estate sales. And let me tell you, it was nice. Because there were actually like eight estate sales in town. And there were so many. So none of them were really super crowded. Because everybody was kind of spread out. And um, usually around here, our estate sales start at 9 o'clock. But two of them happened to start at 8. So we were done with all five sales by like 10 10 30. yeah it was awesome it was pretty we, nice. we bought we bought some uh what i think is some good inventory for the money we i think we spent about 120 dollars yeah and yep. we were done and we still had our whole day in front of us it was yep. really nice it was that's the way to do it mm -hmm. <laughs> so um we went to one sale all these books were a dollar right yeah, yeah but then they were half of that right yeah so um so 50 cents they had some these are interesting um like science fiction genre type books yeah and i'll show you like these i always look for like series because with a series even if each book is worth five dollars if you have enough of them then you can make a nice little sale that's the way i look at it anyway I saw these planet builders books and we got those we would have spent what three dollars and fifty cents on those yeah I so, did, yeah they're not sequential no they're, they're a lot it's a mixed lot we actually have a look we have look. we have two of nine and then two three five seven and eight right uh, so i'm wondering if this is a continuing story or if it's something that you could just kind of read out of order i don't know yeah so but uh that would definitely help our being able to sell them if that was the case yeah and uh all i have to go off of here i have these uh have some Terapeak solds of 34 and 56. They have, they call it complete set series, a lot of eight, but I know that's not true because we have a nine. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Maybe, so I, maybe the nine is, uh, rare. I don't know. I, but you know, 25, 30 bucks or something like that for that little stack of books. That's good. Uh, we got these Rebels in the New World trio, three yep. of those. Um, this is a doom. I comped that. That was actually I saw it sold for like twelve bucks for that yeah. book. And then we have this. This is all Star Wars books here that we'll just lot up. Yeah. So. Not, not going to be huge money on this stuff, but it was definitely worth buying because, like, let's just say, I, you know, I think we loosely have fifty to sixty dollars here. Yeah. You know, total. Now these are interesting. Um, this lot here was ten dollars, and it's it was all. Five we paid five that's right it, it was, was half, half price day um these are by nelson doubleday personal success program and it's how to uh write business letters how to sharpen your thinking self-help for like business office right office how to work under pressure i need this one how to remember names and faces oh look i don't know what that is 
But yeah, they're all these little um, business type self-help books. Mm -hmm. And we have a bunch of them too. Yeah. So I also pulled up, pulled that up. I found a sold, there's several solds. Um, vintage 60s, Nelson Doubleday Personal Success. Some, they sold it for 40 for 10 of them. How many we got? And then Let me count them. they sold 12 of them for $48 plus ship and look they used the uh keyword spamming of mad men which i think is kind of smart we have 19. okay so we have more than th those people yeah of course we don't know if we have duplicates or anything like that so right. it looks like that might be another like 50 dollars thing there i just kind of glanced through them and i don't remember seeing any duplicates that doesn't mean it's not true let me see something how to remember facts and figures how to improve your personal relations this is like how to be a human being almost yeah how to shoot trouble troubleshoot i've never i've never heard anybody say shoot trouble no okay <laughs> those are kind of cool yeah. how to read faster i know how to teach man look that's all you got to know teachers make all this racket about we don't get paid enough that's because all you all like, you need is this book like this little pamphlet and you could be a teacher I like this one. I'm huh? joking, by the way. How to write letters that sell. We could sell letters on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they mean they're selling some. Anyways, no. Yeah. Anyway, we thought that was a really cool find. I think it's a good. I think it's a good buy too. All right, we found some sealed um, Valentines from 1988. Paid 50 cents for those. And it's interesting to me that there's like this cute little puppy dog right. here, and then the cards themselves have like these monsters on them. Those grotesque looking slobbering monsters in there. Yep. All right, Samsonite briefcase. I always I always like to buy these when I find them at the right price. And it, do, it does need a little cleanup. It's not bad though, and mm -mm. it has the keys here, so that's yep. good. Yeah, it's really, it's like clean here. It just looks like something kind of spilled. And that's like a vinyl, so that'll be easy to clean up. Yeah. Oh, look, there's something in it. Is there? Uh-oh. $200. Oh, what is it? Oh. What? Okay. We always need writing. Oh, look, remember the eraser. <laughs> that's actually a nice one. Yeah. Okay, cool. Man, I haven't had one of those in a while. Yeah. I paid $4 for that, by the way. So I... These kind of things, typically I'm looking at like, unless it's something special, which they are usually are not, 25 to 40 bucks yeah. somewhere. And that, this this is probably a 25 or $30 that thing. That feels like a really good heavy duty one. It is. It's real sturdy, like, man, like, look, I'm pushing on it. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, so we have some Kodak Exochrome film, a Super 8 film. Uh, you paid a dollar each for them. We have six, six. of them. Yeah, type, type A, it says. Um, I sold something similar. Look, this one expired in 1982. Yeah. I sold something, some stuff similar to this not too long ago. I, 12, 15 bucks a piece kind of thing, maybe. So we're you thinking maybe 40, 45 for the lot? I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I hate to say that number because, yeah, whatever it is, we're going to make good money on it because, like, yeah. yeah, if we get, even if I, I don't know, maybe I'll sell them. I don't know if I'm going to sell them individually or not. Or do a multi-quantity listing, or, maybe. Mm, yeah, I don't know if I want to do that because it, if it's a collector, they'll want to see the box. True. And some of these are better than others. Yeah. And look, they have the old price tag. Some people like that. We'll take the green tags off and leave the vintage 693 tag. Yeah. That was a lot back then for Felma. Huh? Yeah. All right. Some Nintendo um, cartridge case and sleeves. We have six of those, paid a dollar each for them. Yep. The outsides are a little dusty, dirty, but they're in good condition. Yeah, I'll probably lot those up for, I don't know, $25 or something like that. Yep. We, we have, uh, well, we paid a dollar a piece, maybe 30. I'm not sure exactly what we'll get. All then right. this is interesting. This story. was funny. So um, we had already, we had already brought all our stuff up there. Um, and we paid and I, and I noticed that there was like a little garage where you walk out the back of the house and there was like this little shed attached to the carport. And I said, Lonnie, did you look out there? And he's like, no. So we went and looked and I found this sealed Am box from Amazon had never been opened a package. I said, oh, I wonder what's in here. So Lonnie, <laughs> Lonnie came up with this idea. He said, let's go ask her how much she would take for it 
without opening it. <laughs> we were hoping she would let us buy it without opening it so we could open it on camera, but um, she said, no, I have to open it. And we understand, you know, it could have been like a thousand dollar item and she owes to the family to get whatever the item was worth. Right. So um, we opened it up and she looked at it. And, and she's um, like, and she said, good thing, good thing I didn't, uh, good thing I didn't sell it to you. It's cat treats. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, will you take five bucks? Well, I was <laughs> talking to her about it and I saw Lonnie kind of out of her eyesight, like around the corner looking it up. <laughs> of course. And, and she goes, uh, good thing, you know, I didn't sell it to y'all. It's just cat treats. And Lonnie comes in and he goes, how about five bucks? And she, <laughs> she goes, sold. <laughs> yeah. And it's not. Like, look, it's it's not like something awesome, awesome no. or anything. It's this Churu brand. It's like this creamy, uh, it's gross looking. Anyway, yeah. we're going to show you why Lonnie offered $5. Yeah, and it's not, look, don't build it up too much because it's not that, that huge. It's interesting, though, because this is a good lesson. Yeah. So this is what he sees when he pulls it up, right? Yeah, look, this dude supposedly sold uh, sold it for 55 free ship, 57 free ship. Yeah. And they have other flavors Here's 60. Yeah. 60. This is actually the flavors we have right here. Right. But then if you look that up on Terra Peak. So this is sold on eBay. Right. right. Yep. You're in the field. You're pulling up solds on eBay. Oh, go to Terra Peak. Look how the price is different. Yep. 30, 48, and 29.99 free, free ship. ship. Yeah. So it went from like a $60 free ship thing to like 30. a $30 free ship thing. And so they took offers is what happened. Which is interesting to me that eBay is not able to reflect that on their sold. I page. think it might be because it's multi-quantity. Right. It's, so, yeah, be careful whenever you're comping stuff that... that it's like, not always what, what it appears. Right. I guess maybe um, you could click on it and see if it was multi-quantity. That, that's why whenever I'm looking up comps and I see, like, a ridiculous-looking comp, I never try... How many times, Kiss, you've been working with these nutcrackers a bunch. Yeah. How many times have you seen like a price that looks stupid high on solds on like the last 90 days on the regular page of solds mm -hmm. or on worth point worth point same way worth point we 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 still use worth point a lot but you have to be careful with that too because worth point just sees the sold and what it was listed for on ebay but if you go into Terra Peak, if, if there was a best offer, that's where you're going to see it. The prices will differ. Yeah, and that's what happens a lot of times whenever we see like 10 of something sold for 30, and then you see one that is uh, sold for 100, and you're like, what happened there? And then you, you copy that title, if it's within the last two years, copy that title and paste it into Terra Peak. And you're like, oh, they took a best offer. Yeah, copy that whole exact title and pull it up on Terra Peak and you'll see exactly what it sold for. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, we paid $5 for those. I'm still glad we bought them because we can probably sell them for 20 bucks plus ship. Yeah. It'll take like two minutes to list it. Yeah, and so. if they don't sell, we'll give them to our daughter for her cats. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got picked up three cookbooks. You're um, being kind of picky. I was. You're getting um, pickier and pickier, but you kind of have to be with cookbooks, don't you? You do, because it's a learning curve. I'm still kind of learning um, on what to get. And, you know, like the church cookbooks, I think I'll always pick up if they're in good shape. And the Junior League, I've found, have usually done pretty good, the Junior League cookbooks. And you've had putting on the grits before. Mm -hmm. um, I paid $2 each for these. Look, Chinese what is that? fried nuts. Hmm. All right, this is a, one of Lonnie's little bolos he likes to keep an eye out for, and he buys them every time he sees them. I used to see them more often. Yeah. I, man, I used to get one of those every week, it seemed like, almost. Yeah, it's a, it's a DTV digital to analog converter. Yeah, you know what the story is with that? Back, back in the early 2000s, they went from analog to digital on the broadcast, and then... Um, legacy t televisions couldn't receive the signal mm -hmm. so the government they didn't want to shut out people that couldn't afford a new tv they needed, right they want to let them have access to news and current right. events so right. they had this program you see that that you that forty dollars you can use coupon u.s government is making forty dollar rebate coupons available that's why so many of these are out there because they are basically free yeah that's what it is. Then you find them a lot of times, you find them sealed. 
I got yeah. like oh like I would say most of the ones I found have never been used. Right. Like this one is sealed, yep. and it's not huge money, but man, they always sell pretty quick, and they they are decent money. I, is there a price tag on that you one? I paid five. I paid five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's that's the right th right price to pay. And you can see this is the same exact model. Somebody got thirty plus ship for a sealed one. Some people got less, and I think that's because they asked for less probably. But yeah, you, and yeah, don't take yours and try and run an auction. That's not smart. That's interesting because I wouldn't. I would think something like this on an auction would only get one bid, but it actually got three. Yeah. That kind of surprises me. Well, they did get a good price on it though. Right. But yeah, I'm probably gonna go for uh, 25 or 30. Uh, they got two, two for 42. Yeah. Yeah. I'll look at the I'll look at the actives, but I'll probably go 25 or 30 plus ship on that. Yeah. All right, Lonnie spotted this tree. It's a, um, it's a Las Vegas. It looks to me like it's from the 70s just because of the coloring and the motifs around the edges. But it's got um, like all the old casinos on it. It's really yep. cool graphics on it. It's all, it's all, it's mostly all the old, not downtown, but the strip casinos. I actually had, the first time I, was, I went to Vegas, I was, well, as an adult, I had, I had a room booked at the Sands and I was watching TV one morning before that trip. I was 21 and it was a couple months before that trip and I had it on CNN and I was like drinking coffee, watching TV and they, uh, they have some, I hear the Sands Casino and I look up because I'm like, oh, that's where I'm going to stay. And, <laughs> and, and they're like, three, two, one. And it, you hear all these explosions and the freaking... It just imploded, huh? It, they imploded it and it started to collapse. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to have a reservation. What are y'all doing? And so I called, I called them up and, oh yeah, we, uh, we tried to call you. We couldn't get you, whatever. Um, sorry, but, so sorry, but we destroyed your hotel. Your room no longer exists. And they booked they booked a hotel at this friggin place which circus, is circus circus this is a dump absolute dump i'm sure it still is it's still there but yeah a lot of these are not there anymore like i know this is gone riviera i don't know stardust i always love the stardust uh font i love yeah. that the dunes aladdin i think i think a lot of these are there some yeah, couple I of them i are. didn't even pick up on that that's cool that they cho chose the original logo fonts paid five dollars for that tray it's got some nice little detail here this just oh man when i was fiberglass or something it's something like that yeah man when i was growing up our house was in these colors and these details oh, yeah. it was like a spanish style yeah um and that's just, this reminds me of my childhood this colors and the the detail on it yeah um i did look it up on terapeak no worth point no terapeak yeah. And I found it. There it is right there. Somebody got um $39.99 plus ship. Almost two years ago. Yeah. So yeah. yours for inflation is probably worth uh fifty. Uh yeah, <laughs> but then you have to factor in that people don't need those. So <laughs> it's interesting. Look, here's oh, another one. No, that's uh, not it. No. Yeah. That's the only one I've seen like that. So. It's the coolest one because it has all the hotels on it. It's rare. You've been typing that a lot with your nutcrackers. <laughs> I, uh, uh, normal mortal eBay listers can't put rare on everything like you can. Uh, uh, my nutcrackers, I'm telling y'all, like, I will go and search Terapeak and Worth Point, and I'll find one on Worth Point from, like, 2007. There'll only be one, you know. So right. I, I've been using the word rare a lot. Yeah, you're, you'll get... I've, I've, seen, I've seen people in uh, reseller community, they'll get in, like, knockdown, drag-out fights over the use of the word friggin' rare or vintage or you yeah. know they like they take it very to seriously me, if it's on terra peak which goes back two years it's not rare or really or, i mean or maybe if there's maybe one there's or two one. Yeah. yeah but yeah all right we found some really cool hats this trip um at this one sale they were all two dollars um this is a very tacky satin disney hat but it is uh it's vintage it's made in usa really compton california oh no kidding atlas is the name of the company i didn't i didn't think that would be made in the u.s I know. wow yeah i didn't think okay that's interesting yep okay and it's got a disney tag was that that's good yeah 
Okay, that's awesome. Yep. I didn't know it was that good. This is uh, Baton Rouge Kingfish is our hockey team we had before, and we're getting a hockey team again. In the 90s. Yeah. I don't know what the new name is yet. I haven't heard anything. Didn't this guy, that's the guy, Humanic? Yeah. That's the guy, he got hurt, right? Like in a car wreck or something? I'm trying, I don't remember. There's something happened with that Humanic guy. That's why he's on the hat. This is a vintage LSU hat uh, made in USA. Wait, what's the P? P, uh, I'm not sure. It's a little, it's got a little dirt on it, but I think most it of it It might is. clean up. Yeah. We're going to try cleaning up, see what we can do. Yeah. Now, this is also, th doesn't this look modern? It but does. But it's not. What? Yes. Made in USA, same brand. Yeah. Oh, and, and look at the tiger stripes. I'm expecting big money from this because of it being vintage and it's clean. I mean, can't you see somebody? And look at that pattern. I know it is. It's, it's crazy. amazing. You know what that reminds me of? What you remember those older people, like from the '80s or '90s, maybe? Do y'all remember those? <laughs> no. Do you remember like those pants that were like crazy wear? Oh yeah. You remember that? Oh, yeah. Like the Joey Buttafuoco pants or oh, whatever. Yeah. They were like the big workout pants with the patterns on. Right. Doesn't that look like something one of those guys would wear? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I thought it was interesting. And it doesn't say like LSU Tigers or Louisiana State. Tigers of Louisiana. Tigers of Louisiana State University. And it is licensed too. Yeah, it See? is. Yep. Okay. That Wow. All right. You were excited. I, about, high, I do. I have high hopes for this. You were hat. excited about that hat, but I didn't realize it was made in USA and all that. I think you're right. Yeah. All right. This is, pro besides that, this is my favorite hat. It's, Look at it. F it's 15. like, um, it's velvet. What? Yeah, it's velvet. Okay. And it has F15 look, embroidered on look it. Look how it's made. I've never seen a hat made like that. Right. Like with that panel like that. Right. It's got, what flag is that? Is that Korea? Or Korea. Yep. Yeah, South Korea, And yes. then it's got the American flag here. And it's, any any Brian's out there? Any takers? Yeah, that, that are in the F15s? There's no tags inside, which I find interesting. There's, sometimes they hide them. Yeah, I don't. Okay. I don't see it. That, and I like how it has this mesh here. Yeah. To make it more breathable on your forehead. It's a pretty clean hat too. Then we have some Air Force scrambled eggs hat. Is that USA also? I'm sure it is. I mean, that, is that the most? Made in China. It's it's the Nissan. I don't know how to say it. Hmm. But it is the uh, the rope hat with the foam inside. Oh yeah. Yeah. That, that's cool. That's yeah. so gaudy. Yeah. It's got the big old head. See that? Oh, I know. <laughs> I could just see the old man that would wear it too. Uh -huh. I, I guarantee you, if if you see somebody wearing that hat, look at their look at their waist. They're gonna have one of those clip-in cell phone holders. <laughs> not now. <laughs> it's not a thing now, but I know. No, you don't still see them. No. I see old. I see old guys with, or even sometimes young guys with the. Hold on, I'm getting a call. The little holster for their phone. <laughs> no, the people still wear those things. I'm telling you. They'll tell you in the comments. Okay. All right. This next item is a um, Cuisinart attachment. I guess for a food processor. It's a work bowl. Yeah, it's called a work bowl, and I've been, whenever I go to estate sales and I see these items in their original box, I always look them up because I've been surprised at what they're worth. There's the original invoice. Apparently, they must have, it must have been a... Uh, maybe a mail-in rebate type thing or something. Or maybe a repla a warranty replacement. Yeah. It looks to me like there is no scratches. I would or, sell that as new. Yeah, I mean, you can tell when something's been used of the, with this type of plastic, right. and it's it's... I agree it's with not. you. I don't think it's used at all. And the box is still in great condition. Paid two fifty for it, and I did comp it at the sale. And I have the comp right here. Bonnie pulled it up for me. This is this is pre-owned for thirty-eight dollars free ship, so yeah. you might be able to get a little more than that. Right. That was a good pickup. Yep. All right. This is um sixteen. No. Thirty-one. Thirty-one beta tapes. Yeah, they're. They're uh, basically recorded tapes that are recorded with uh, movies, or there are a couple of personal ones. Yeah, like there's some basketball. There's. Let me see basketball. Yeah. What is that? It's like personal basketball. Yeah, basketball, 1982, 1983. Here's 1986 basketball that... and Brian's birthday party. Oh. His 10th birthday party. Okay. Um, this one I think would be cool to watch. Where to go? Christmas 1982. I, I I mean I hope it's like kids opening their presents on Christmas morning 1982. There may be some really. We cool... don't have a beta machine, you know. Oh. I'm just gonna. Can I'm we buy selling. One? 
No, I'm selling oh. all this as used. I want to see all the cool Star Wars toys somebody got for Christmas. I just want to sell it. Well, we can hang on to it if you want. We could probably pick up a beta machine cheap, huh? Uh, no. No? Okay. I mean, you could pick them up cheap, but nine times out of ten, they don't seem to work for me anyways. So what would you pay for these? I paid $10 for all of them. Okay. There's 31 of them there. I'll show you all a few comps. So like here is a lot of 16 recorded beta tapes sold as used blank unknown content, blah, blah, blah. They got 30 bucks plus shipping for 16. Yeah. So if I get, I think I could probably expect to do something like that, get 60 bucks for all of them. Yeah. And I, my experience selling this kind of thing, either VHS or beta, I don't, have, I haven't sold a lot of beta like that, but VHS, they just sell, just like list them for a buck a tape and people buy them up. They say like, they don't last. Wow. Okay. And now this kind, I'm not talking, obviously I'm not talking about like pre-recorded movies like you would you Yeah, know. no, these are like where people recorded stuff on their, uh, off their TV or whatever, right. right? And and a lot of people might be looking, like you said, Candace might be looking for old commercials or just nostalgia or whatever, right? And yeah. I don't know exactly what people are doing with them. They might just be using them as blanks, whatever, but I do know that at garage sales and estate sales, they don't really, like if you're buying them, you're not gonna have much competition. Yeah. Which, I, that's an important part. Yeah, this was uh, the last sale on Sunday, I think, that we went to and they were still there. So. Yeah, M most people do not do not care about those. Right. Even though it's really easy money, I, I would say. Yeah. So. That's everything. Yeah, no, this is good stuff, man. Yeah. I'm excited to uh, dive into this. I'm gonna start listing this stuff uh, after lunch while Candace works on her uh, old nutcracker queen does her thing yeah <laughs> all right I just had lunch or we just had lunch actually and uh, came up with an idea so got all this stuff here it's all out on the bench and like I said we paid hundred and twenty dollars for everything um, it is currently 114 and my goal is to go ahead and get this stuff listed and uh today and let y'all know how much we listed it for how much we could potentially turn 120 into all right turns out i was a little over optimistic about my ability to focus <laughs> candace and i started like once i started listing candace and i both started working really slow because i would get like a hat not i would get a hat no I'm, okay whoa you don't you about to get me or something no i'm just listening i would no you weren't just listening she was like you did like uh whenever whenever we say the word bacon or dog treat around Pippin and he does that little head tilt. Mm -hmm. I didn't finish your story. Okay, finish my story. We see how but how good I can make this. <laughs> I'm scared to now. Anyways, I had a bunch of hats that were pretty uncommon. Like like the uh LSU tiger print hat that we showed y'all earlier. Ended up listing that pretty high. Good made in USA. We couldn't find one just like it. Went through that with several hats. Anyway, bottom line, I was working slow, super slow, and I didn't care. So I ended up, I'm not finished yet. Okay. And the reason I said you were slow is because I was slowing you down and getting you to help me. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Okay. And so anyway, uh ended up listing 12 of the things we showed y'all for 332 so far. We will we'll revisit this tomorrow when I finish them up because I still have all this stuff left to go. Left this to list. stuff won't take long though. It's like books and this is one lot of tapes. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. like what's seven, eight listings maybe? This might be, yeah, this, yeah. It, it's starting to look like we might have about $500, mm -hmm. I would say, total from the estate sale, which yeah. that's great. That's good, you know. And Candace has been doing her Nutcracker Queen stuff. All right, so, so <laughs> The far, Nutcracker Queen. That sounds so bad. <laughs> so far, I've listed 101 Nutcrackers right under 12,000. Yep, and you're averaging. She, you did a you did it earlier today and yesterday, late yesterday, you were doing like well, a bunch of see, smaller ones. Like the last two days. Like, yeah. Shh bunch of and then sub I, just, I just got into a box of good ones yeah we still have a lot left i, I i'm definitely believing it's going to be 200 and probably more you know because um we have all those on the bench all those these two boxes 
Yep. All of these up here. Yep, all those boxed ones there. There are one, two, there are four boxes this size that I haven't cracked open yet. Now they may have some of these boxes, we don't know what's in them. It could have four big ones or it could have 12 of the smaller ones. Right. We, don't we, know. we know we have 30, probably 30 something over here. We've got 18 on top of that shelf in those big boxes there. Mm -hmm. So that's like almost probably around 50 right there before we even talk about the ones that are in these other boxes. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking definitely 200. It's going to be over 200. Yeah. We didn't know, like we had every intention before we bought to get a, a perfect count. And but, to, to really check the condition and everything. And like we said, they just had them all boxed up, ready to ship to Texas. We, we, we did what we could. Yeah. And like, we took a sampling, I looked through them. I'm like, all right, that looks good, that looks good. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything real fishy looking. We looked. Like it wasn't a bunch from like Pier 1 Imports or something. Right, <laughs> and, and like we, we did the best we could, but there was no way we were gonna be able to lay eyeballs on, on every each and every single one before we, like we could have we would have been there six hours I think. it would have taken probably yeah i think so because they were not wrapped they were not packed properly so we were having to be extremely careful taking right. them out we didn't have room to work we were in this room that was crowded with all these boxes and furniture like we're standing in a space like this trying to get these nut right. crackers. it was it was not good so not ideal conditions but i'm glad it's working out yeah. yeah no i felt good about it i feel better and better every day though yeah we had, we did we sold uh we didn't sell any yesterday did we or no we didn't because i didn't ship any today right but we did sell one today that we'll show y'all tomorrow maybe we'll sell some more yeah it's very it's amazing to me how many are going back to germany the one we sold today is international it's going yeah our international sales uh, I think maybe most of them we've sold so far are going back to Europe somewhere. Yeah. So yeah. Um, that's that'll be the plan for tomorrow, though. Um, for me, is pull orders and all the normal stuff, right? And then my goal tomorrow, non-negotiable. I'm not leaving here until all that stuff's listed. Yep. And then I'll pro I may I, I should have time to list something else other than that, but I definitely want to get that done. Mm -hmm. so because i we don't have anywhere else to put it if we don't like there's no unlisted place to yeah, put it Yeah, we're slowly using up our unlisted shelf if you probably saw when we walked back there we took another one yeah cleared it out yeah we did this today too yeah i forgot to tell them about that yeah. because we have well so far we have this shelf that shelf for the ones that are like 12 inch mm -hmm. type and this one too and then we have that shelf over there for the big, I've got a couple of boys. little ones here and there. Like there's a little oh, one. Yeah. There's a little bitty one. There's a little one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, the the ones that are like ten inch or higher are going on these shelves. So we're gonna have to get creative with um, where we're putting these things. And we're probably gonna have to clear off another shelf after this, yeah. or two, or three, or whatever. We we'll just do the box inside. <laughs> Your butt was the butt resizer. <laughs> y'all didn't, didn't get to see earlier on film. I'm standing here and stuff started falling off of here and it scared the living, you know, what out of me. I had to cut it because she was like cursing and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, we will we will get this total tomorrow if you're really hanging on the if you're on the edge of your seat yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that's so exciting but uh thanks so much for watching we will see y'all again very soon bye y'all bye